Yo VC, what's up? Bob here. Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to talk to you guys today about a recent discovery, a secret if you will, um, concerning two records I've been looking for for quite some time, uh, Grails. The first record is Sonny Rollins' Saxophone Colossus, and the second one is Sonny Rollins' Quartet Tenor Madness. Uh, original pressings of both of those records have uh, just become so expensive, they're very difficult to get. Uh, Saxophone Colossus is possibly Sonny Rollins' best record, and Tenor Madness uh, has an insane lineup, including John Coltrane, and is very, very good. If you've been watching the channel for any amount of time, you know that I'm kind of a uh, person who's looking for original pressings most of the time. Um, but with the introduction of the Blue Note 80s and the Tone Poet series, I've been buying those records and enjoying them. And my thinking about my collection has started to evolve a bit. Instead of buying, say, like a G Plus Saxophone Colossus and saying, this is my placeholder, I'm going to buy a audiophile version of the record and say, that's my placeholder until I find a good original. So, <clears throat> I'm texting with Jeffrey Lee Puckett. You might know Jeffrey Lee from this channel or from any of his writing. And I say, Jeffrey, I'm looking for these records. Saxophone Colossus, Tenor Madness, Brilliant Corners, you know, blah, 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 blah. Do you know any affordable, good pressings of these records? And he says, lo and behold, I just got some information on the Sonny Rollins records. And he sends me an Amazon link to Boom, Sonny Rollins, Saxophone Colossus, and Tenor Madness, right? These are OJC's original jazz classics, which we're all aware of, right? But, but, here's the deal. Steve Hoffman and Kevin Gray are working for a company called DCC, right? DCC Compact Classics, to be precise. And they cut these two records for DCC. But what a lot of people don't know is OJC used the stampers to make several different runs of these two records. And in the Dead Wax, it says Steve Hoffman and Kevin Gray. If you don't know, Steve Hoffman is a mastering engineer. He has a forum that is very popular for, with audio files and people who enjoy records. And Kevin Gray is the engineer that is primarily responsible for the Tone Poet series and the Blue Note 80s and Music Matters Jazz. So you're talking about the two guys that are absolute experts in uh, these jazz recordings and there are several pressings on OJC uh, that feature those stampers and you know, definitely the most quality um, recordings you can get for the for the least amount of money uh, of these two albums. Now, the Tenor Madness, right, has Steve Hoffman, Kevin Gray, and the Dead Wax. This Sonny Rollins, they actually um, scratched it out in the dead wax, so it's, you can see it, but it's all scratched out. Maybe they didn't want you to know that um, you could get an OJC that was the exact same stamper. But I've went through the Discogs listings, and there's like four different pressings with the Steve Hoffman, Kevin Gray plates, right? And I got the records. Now I will say that, um, you know, this record was sent, uh, I got them through Amazon. I will put the links in the description. This record was destroyed. Me and Puckett ordered both records and they sent uh, one of each of the records to both of us in like a bag instead of a mailer. So I, uh, his was fine. My first copy was destroyed. I had to reorder it. So uh, they both sound fantastic. The 
quality of the actual pressings from the plant is kind of, eh, it's varied. Uh, Puckett says that his Colossus is a little noisy. Mine is not. So, you know, uh, take that for what you will. But I will say this, the records are incredibly detailed, super fat, um, and just got a lot of punch, drive, they sound fantastic. If you are looking for these two records as you, you need these in your collection and you haven't gotten uh, original ones and you want some nice audio file pressings of these records, they're out there. Steve Hoffman, Kevin Gray, you can buy them for 20 something dollars. It's, it's amazing. So, in particular this, have you seen how much Saxophone Colossus is selling for? Okay, you know, we're talking about Sonny Rollins, Tommy Flanagan, Doug, Doug Watkins, and Max Roach. Boom, Tanner Madness, Red Garland, Paul Chambers, Philly Joe Jones, and John Coltrane. Insane records. Definitely Sonny Rollins is best. And I can't recommend them enough. Like I said, I'm gonna put the links down below. It's kind of a secret. I didn't I didn't know if I should just tell everyone or not, but I guess I am. So um, get them while you still can. You know, get them while you still can. Uh, I don't know how many are left on Amazon, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm really excited about it. So that said, I went through all of the uh, DCC releases and tried to see if there were any other situations where um, that happened. There is not. So it's just with these two records for whatever reason. And um, you know, it is what it is. I've heard, I've read in, on the forums and stuff that all of the uh, OJCs were from tapes. But as far as the engineers involved, these seem to be um, some of the only ones that involve Steve Hoffman and Kevin Gray. So uh, take that for what you will. And uh, until we meet again, that's right, folks. Bob out.